In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the setup for the Kepler's Law Ellipse Lab and how to draw the ellipses. Now, this setup can be used with most Kepler's Law Ellipse Labs, but of course, it is specifically designed to be used with our Kepler's Law Ellipse Lab. You can find this at our TPT store, and of course, the link is in the description below. Now, to do this, you just need a few basic materials. I have here some cardboard, some plain paper, a couple of pens and pencils to draw with, string, ruler, scissors, and a couple of push pins, or you can also use thumbtacks. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my printer paper and I, excuse me, my cardboard, and I'm going to use this as the base for drawing my ellipses. Now, this cardboard is a little thin. This is from printer paper boxes, and I took two pieces of cardboard, taped them together, and I even put a third piece on the back so that when I take my push pins and push them into the cardboard, they will stay where I want them while I'm drawing my ellipses. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plain piece of white paper and I'm going to draw a line through the center of the paper this way and through the center of the paper this way so it looks something like that. And then as it says in the instructions, I'm going to make two dots that are each one centimeter away from the center of the paper. Those are the foci for the first ellipse. For the second ellipse, I made the two dots two centimeters away from the center. And for the third ellipse, they need to be four centimeters away from the center of the ellipse. So now I have my cardboard, I have my paper, and the next thing and the last thing I really need to do is make my loop of string. So I have the scissors here just when you have a ball of string to cut a piece of string off of the ball of string like this. And this string is approximately 25 centimeters long, can be a little more or a little less. The important thing is I'm going to take this piece of string and I'm going to make a loop out of it. So I'm going to make a knot at one end so that I have a nice loop of string that looks something approximately like that. Now, this is one that I made earlier because I find that it works best if the loop of string is approximately 10 or 11 centimeters long. And you can see this loop of string that I made is approximately 10 centimeters long. If you make the loop smaller, then the ellipses don't work out very well when you draw them. If you make the loop too long, then when you draw the ellipses, they will go off of the piece of paper. So 10, 10 and a half centimeters, that's the loop that I'm going to use. Now I'm ready to draw the ellipses. So I'm going to put my paper on my cardboard. You don't really need to tape it down because you're going to take the push pins and I'm going to put one in one side. That's one centimeter away. I'm going to take the other one and put it in the other foci. That's one centimeter away. And then I can take my string, put it on the pins. And you can see I left the pins a little bit above the page so that I put the string against the pin. I take my pen or pencil. I hold it up a little bit off the table so I don't push the push pins out. And then I just put the pen inside the string and I draw my first ellipse just like that. See, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it figured out, it's pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to take the pins and I'm going to move them one centimeter away. So each is now two centimeters away from the center of the page. And then I have another color just to, just to show the contrast. Put the string on there again. I'm going to take my red pen this time and I'm going to draw my second ellipse something like that. And you can see I get a nice ellipse and there you go. That's the second ellipse. The third ellipse you're going to draw by taking the pins and moving them so they're each four centimeters away and you draw your third ellipse. Once you've drawn the third ellipse, then you're ready to take your measurements, calculate your eccentricity, learn about Kepler's laws and planetary orbits and elliptical orbits, and you're all ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. I think that's pretty easy to set up. Don't forget, if you're looking for a great Kepler's Law Lab <coughs> and ellipses, Check out our TPT store. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.